Hey everyone, this is Amy Chicken from Team Pandora. Today we're going to be looking at the Pandora Box DX and how to install Pandora to it. The initial installation is very simple, it shouldn't take a few minutes, but make sure you have a backup handy of the original microSD. We've covered this in a previous video. So let's get to it. First we're going to need the microSD. This is usually located on the board. So you need to open it up and pull it out. Then we'll have it ready with a micro SD card reader for later on. On our C drive, we'll need to create a folder called Pandori Tool. And then we're going to open the Pandori zip file. This is the latest version. Select one file, press Ctrl and A, and then drag one of them over to our Pandori Tool folder. And now we can insert our micro SD. If you get a pop-up that says there's a problem, click on it, then repair. Now we can see the contents of the Pandora micro SD. We can also see the drive letter. This one's N. In our Pandori tool folder, find Pandori DX.bat, right click, then edit. On the line where it says Pandori stick DXI, change I to our drive letter. So I'll change it to N here and then save. Now right click again on Pandora DX, then run as administrator. This will scan and check that your micro SD is compatible with Pandora. Then download and patch the required files. You may run into some issues if you're low on space. So delete some junk games like David Beckham Soccer or Mortal Kombat 4. When completed, we can right click on the USB drive, eject, pop it in our DX, and we're good to go. You'll be greeted to the new boot video and also the new skin. Control fixes, unlock characters, pixels and the FBA clock boost should be ready for you to play with now. Let's first try a test with Metal Slug 2. We're actually running from HDMI here, but as soon as it hits 66 we can see the aspect ratio shift. Here's a title screen, 4-3 aspect, as well as a lot of pixels. We find that Metal Slug 2 is a good game to test. There is now less screen tearing, sharper pixels, and we can even recognize that the core boost is even working from the first level. Whilst we can create a default configuration, not everyone has the same needs. Pandora SH is the file where a lot of the magic happens. If we scroll down and find Detect Resolution, we can designate which RetroArch configuration file our Pandora DX will use for either the low resolution CGA output or from the VGA or HDMI. This top line here is for the CGA output. Let's change to a different configuration file. Slowly click once, then twice, you can select this name, copy, now we're just going to paste it in here. For those that don't use video output on the Jammer Edge, they'll need to use this line here. For this version of Pandora DX, the default is Retro 1A. These will have different aspect ratios, integer scaling. Try them out to see what works best for you. Another thing we could do is just edit Retro 1A. You'll then have the power to change whatever you wish. Just going to look for Aspect. And here this line, Aspect Ratio Index. This will change our Aspect Ratio modes. Here's a four-year-old Reddit post by Jacob Pedersen. Thank you. And this gives us an idea of the values we need. Take note that after 20 is a bit different because I don't know why, for reasons. But right now 20, 21, 22, 23 are like this. I personally like ratio index 21. That's my go-to. Usually. If we go to find again, we can also switch on integer scaling. Change that to true. Very 
video smooth by linear filtering. You can choose to have this on or off. That's your call. If we save this, then you'll have these settings for any game you play. Another file we have here is settings custom config. Here we can designate configurations per game. On the left is the game file name and on the right is the configuration file. So first we'll have to check the ROMs folder. Let's find a file name we want to use. Copy the name. On a new line, we'll paste this in. Press the tab key, which is two underneath escape. And then the configuration file name. We can also make another line for Don Patch. Perhaps these vertical games need a different configuration. When you're finished, hit save and then the configuration file will be bound. Another file we have here is settings custom options. Here we can pass on a core options file to the games of our choice. So this file here, Pandora Options Accelerate, this boosts our emulated clock. This can help games with slowdown. If you want to add something to the list, we can do like so. Separate again with the tab key. Save, and then we're done. We've included a Pandora backups folder. If you want your Pandora Box DX to run as stock, all you need to do is take these three files, move them to the ROMs folder. We'll first make a backup of our cracked files. Let's make a folder. Pandora zips. And now remember these three file names, had, had C, and raid. Go into our ROMs folder. We're gonna find these files as one. Hold control down and click the second. And scroll down to raid. Hold control and then click the third file, which is raid.zip. At the bottom, it'll say three files selected. So right click and copy. Now right click on our Pandora zips folder, then paste. Now in this folder, we have the Pandori DX files. But what we're gonna do is select these three, right click, then copy. We're gonna paste these into the ROMs folder. Replace. Then do similar with these boot video files. Select them all, right click, copy. And these we're going to paste in the root folder. Oh dear. Nah, that's not for me. Pandora DX for the win. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, please give us a like and a nice subscribe bell. Catch you later, guys. Ta-ra.